Hello and a very warm welcome to Crypto Weekly Wrap where we get you all the latest news and updates of top events that happened in the crypto world from past week. I am Ruchi Sharma. Namaskar, I am Sandeep Kasalgar. Let's see what happened in crypto in the world. Yes, and the top story for today is Coin TCX dropped to around $12 million on April 2nd from over $36 million seen on last Friday. Similarly, trading volume on Vazir X slipped to less than $100 million or halved on April 2nd from a high of $208 million on previous Friday. Over the week, crypto exchanges felt the liquidity crunch as frequent traders dramatically curtailed their trading because of the new tax regime. So, uh, Sandeep, this was in a way expected because there is no incentive for the traders because first the government levied a heavy 30% tax and then there's this announcement of 1% TDS to be uh, started from 1st of July. Then there are no uh, set-offs against losses and it is there are talks that the GST will increase from 18% to 28% because the government sees cryptocurrency trading as equivalent to horse racing, lottery, gambling so this in a way is discouraging the traders so this shrunk or this uh, drastic drop i think was expected uh, exactly ruchi kya hai jo bharat ke jo users hai jo khas karke crypto mein invest karte hai unke liye ab uh, thodi uh, problem wo face kare kyunki 30% tax aur july ke baad se 1% tds to ye bahut zyada uh, tax uh, ka samna unko karna padega mm-hmm. to Jee. iske liye kahi par uh, इनको डिसकरेज किया जा रहा है क्या ये ये अभी ये जो हम देख रहे हैं क्रिप्टो की दुनिया में अभी जो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट आगे का जो प्लान करने जा रही है तो कहीं पर ये डिसकरेज होते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं तो वही अब दूसरी खबर की ओर मूव करते हैं आर्स आफ्टर द क्रिप्टो करेंसी एक्सचेंज कॉइन बेस्ड लॉन्च इट्स ट्रेडिंग सर्विस इन इंडिया द गवर्निंग बॉडी दैट ओवरसीज बैंकिंग एंड अदर पेमेंट सिस्टम इन द कंट्री सेट इट वॉज नॉट एवर ऑफ एनी क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज यूजिंग यूपीआई पेमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट The NPCI's statement appears to suggest that UPI is still a non-go for crypto in India. Coinbase INC, US listed crypto trading platforms, said it has invested 150 million dollars in homegrown Indian technology companies in the crypto and Web3 and plans to hire over 1000 people in the country hub this year. A uh, USA ke sabse bade crypto exchange ke jo CEO hai, wo filhal Bangalore mein hai aur uh, jo ki uh, unhone India mein long term investment ke liye 150 million dollars इन्वेस्ट करने के साथ साथ कॉइन बेस इंडिया में ओवर थाउजेंड एम्प्लॉयज को हायर करने का डिक्लेरेशन किया है इतना ही नहीं उन्होंने इंडिया में यूपीआई पेमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज करके कॉइन बेस ट्रेडिंग सर्विस भी लॉन्च कर दी है और अगले ही दिन इंडिया पेमेंट बॉडी एनपीसीआई ने कॉइन बेस का क्रिप्टो ट्रेडिंग लॉन्च ब्लॉक करते हुए स्टेटमेंट रिलीज किया है कि इट वॉज नॉट अवेयर ऑफ एनी क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज यूजिंग यूपीआई पेमेंट इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो इधर कुछ मिक्सअप हो गया या कोई रेगुलेटरी फॉर्मेलिटीज मिस हो गई है रियल रीजन अभी तक सामने नहीं आया है लेट्स होप जैसे स्टॉक ट्रेडिंग में हम लोग यूपीआई पेमेंट सर्विस यूज करते हैं वैसे ही क्रिप्टो एक्सचेंज में भी इंडिया में यूपीआई यूज करने लगे सो लेट्स सी व्हेन दिस पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन कॉइन बेस एंड यूपीआई विल एक्चुअली टेक ऑफ मूविंग ऑन रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया डेप्यूटी गवर्नर टी रावी शंकर हैज सेड स्टेबल कॉइन दैट आर पेग्ड टू डॉलर आर अ बिगर थ्रेट देन क्रिप्टो एज इट इंक्रीजेस द रिस्क ऑफ डॉलराइजेशन Dollarization in economics refers to the denomination of the US currency in the internal economy of a country or the alignment of a country's currency with the US dollar. So Sandeep in 2018 uh, the government banned cryptocurrency but then in 2020 Supreme Court uh, overturned the ruling and the decision and uh, as of now there is no law on cryptocurrency as to is it whether it's legal or illegal but there we have seen uh, RBI somehow is not uh, ready to accept cryptocurrencies and uh, because stable coins as we know they have a underlying uh, asset value with them something is pegged against them which could be dollar yeah, gold, gold yeah, or maybe right. another asset that holds a value globally so people have more trust towards stable coins and that's why rbi th- uh, you know treats it as a threat because people who are uh, probably not uh, accepting cryptocurrency will move towards stable coin because it there is some trust value uh this is the first concern and the second concern is if uh, people accept more stable coin or acquire more stable coin this will in turn strengthen dollar uh the dollar's value and importance will rise and that might affect our economy in the future so exactly. that's the biggest uh, concern kya hai ki agar dollarization hota hai hmm. bharat mein to yahi bharat sarkar ko kuch uh, shayad unko ye dar hai ki agar dollarization hota hai to jo indian uh, jo rupee hai uska value kam ho jayega of, of course, course. तो hmm. उनका यही मानना है तो 
आखिरकार स्टेबल कॉइन ताकि सेफ है क्योंकि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोग इसमें जुड़ना चाहते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ इंडियन रेगुलेशन अभी तक सेट नहीं हो पा रही है इसके लिए ये सब चीज़ें अभी होती रहेगी लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट न्यूज The 19th million Bitcoin BTC was mined last Friday, a landmark occasion for the number one cryptocurrency. 19 million Bitcoin are now in circulation, with just 2 million Bitcoin yet to be minted or mined until roughly the year 2140. With less than 10 percent of the Bitcoin left to be mined, the most aggressive Bitcoin buyers, such as Do Coins, Luna Foundation Guard, and Michael's Micro Strategy, face an uphill battle if they want to continue their buying spree. तो रुचि बात करें बिटकॉइन जिसे हम डिजिटल गोल्ड भी कहते हैं एक्चुअली उसकी टोटल अगर हम लोग यूनिट देखेंगे तो 21 मिलियन है बिटकॉइन की तो ये लास्ट फ्राइडे तक वो 19 मिलियन बिटकॉइन मिंट हो चुके हैं इट मींस अब 2140 तक लास्ट टू मिलियन जो बचे हैं यानी 20 लाख बिटकॉइन ही मिंट होंगे तो बेसिक फंडा यह है कि सप्लाई कम और डिमांड ज्यादा हो तो प्राइस बढ़ती है बट सिंस हम हाईली वॉलेटाइल क्रिप्टो मार्केट की बात कर रहे हैं तो ये आने वाले समय ही बताएगा कि बिटकॉइन की प्राइस में क्या उतार चढ़ाव आता है I would say it will be very interesting to see how uh, Michael Saylor and Do Kwon fight out the battle to acquire those last two million <laughs> bitcoins because they both have some uh, passion and some interest in bitcoins that we have seen in the past some uh, few years. Okay, moving on, the UK's Chancellor Rishi Sunak has also put in a request of the at the Royal Mint for its to issue an NFT alongside these regulations. The Treasury will introduce a financial market framework to help firms to experiment and innovate and explore ways of enhancing the competitiveness of the UK tax system to encourage further development of the crypto asset market. Maybe Indian regulators should take a leaf or two from UK regulatory playbook. So now uh, the UK uh, government wants to be crypto hub maybe they are taking this uh, they are they are getting inspired from the buyer right. maybe you can say because a uh, uk has been uh, the financial leader in europe but post britix uh, they want to you know establish that leadership again in the financial sector and they know that uh, crypto uh, you know uh, crypto industry or crypto technology is fastly uh, getting adopted by every everywhere globally so now they are coming up with crypto friendly regulations in uh, cryptocurrency they are also showing their interest in nfts and they are they have also announced that they might uh, make stable coin the legal tender right. so the payments might happen in stable coin in uk so that's also very uh, very positive step absolutely kya uk uh, jo hai actually baki uh, duniya mein bahut sari uh, jo countries hai wo sab log abhi dheere dheere cryptocurrency ko adopt karne ki koshish kar rahe hain aur lage bhi hai to uh, agar dekhne jaye bharat mein as compared mm-hmm. to uh, agar main india ke compare kar raha hu तो इंडिया में फिर से मेरा पॉइंट उस पर ही आ रहा है जो 30 परसेंट टैक्स में हम लोग जो फंसे पड़े हैं तो उसकी वजह से जो लोग हैं भारतीय इन्वेस्टर्स जो है वो कर नहीं पा रहे हैं तो भारत को भी यूके की तरह क्रिप्टो का एडोप्शन करने की जरूरत होगी ताकि हम भारत देश भी ज्यादा से ज्यादा ऊपर आए और पूरे वर्ल्ड में उसका नाम हो सो देखते हैं अगर अगली खबर मोइंग On to update about play to earn game Exi Infinity 625 million dollars hack last week raised 150 million dollars to help stream an exodus of players after they were unable to access gaming proceeds the running network is increasing the number of validators that handle transactions to 21 from 5 to bolster security Binance is supporting the running network by providing ether withdrawals and deposits for Exi Infinity users to so, ruchi Exi Infinity jaise aap bhi jante hain एक्सी इन्फिनिटी के डेवलपर जो स्काई मेविस है उन्होंने पोस्ट हैक प्लेयर्स के लिए एक्सोडोस को रोकने के लिए अनाउंस किया था कि वो हैक अमाउंट जो है उसको रियम्बस कर देगी और इसमें स्काई मेविस की हेल्प करने के लिए बायनास जिसे हम लार्जेस्ट बोलते हैं जो बायनास हाँ जो लार्जेस्ट एक्सचेंज है पूरे वर्ल्ड में वो उसने स्काई मेविस के हेल्प के लिए ऑलरेडी वन मिलियन डॉलर रेस कर दिए इतना ही नहीं रॉनिन नेटवर्क भी नंबर ऑफ वेलेटर्स को बढ़ा रहा है टू अपग्रेड देयर सिक्योरिटी तो अनफॉर्चुनेटली अभी तक हैकर्स का कोई पता नहीं चला है एक्सी इन्फिनिटी हैकर्स ने रिसेंटली चोरी किए गए अमाउंट में से अराउंड 2000 थाउजेंड यानी अप्रोक्सीमेटली 7 मिलियन डॉलर्स मूव किए थे 
So, but it will be very interesting to see if they actually pay back or reimburse the players because that will be a really big step. So, moving on, HSBC, one of the world's largest multinational banks and financial service providers, has launched a metaverse focused fund for its wealthy Asian clients. The metaverse discretionary strategy portfolio managed by HSBC Asset Management will focus on investing across five segments of the growing metaverse ecosystem infrastructure, computing, interface virtualization and experience and discovery. However, the metaverse-focused bank of HSBC won't be focused on purchasing NFTs or in-game metaverse assets, but rather on stocks in companies building the infrastructure and they're leading the charge with the space. So HSBC, all these traditional banks, they somehow avoid investing in cryptocurrencies, but they also know that it's a fast moving and really evolving industry which is accepted globally. So they don't want to invest, but they want to explore this. So now the bank is not directly investing, but this, they have announced that they will fund those companies, those Asian big clients, big companies that want to build the metaverse. So if I say in Hindi, then you don't have to eat food and leave it. But you have to think about HSBC, Ruchi. Because HSBC is मतलब अंदर कूदना नहीं चाहती जो 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 हाँ जो एशियन कंपनी जो है बड़े-बड़े जो मेटावर्स को सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं उनपे वो पैसा लगाने जाती है जी तो रुचि आइए देखते हैं नेक्स्ट खबर क्या है एलोन मस्क टेस्ला सीईओ एंड स्पेसिक्स फाउंडर हैज टेकन 9.2 परसेंट स्टेक इन ट्विटर आईएनसी फॉर मोर द हमेशा कुछ नया नया करते रहते हैं और सुर्खियां बटोरते रहते हैं। तो रिसेंटली उन्होंने ट्विटर में 2.8 बिलियन डॉलर का इन्वेस्टमेंट करके 9.2 परसेंट स्टेक लिया। यस। तो सोचिए आप इस खबर के साथ ट्विटर के स्टॉक और मस्क के फेवरेट मीम कॉइन डोज दोनों में काफी उछाल आया। यस। हालांकि डोज अभी 0.14 पर ट्रेड if you talk about the stake, their stake is 2% and they have taken 9.2% stake. Strength. What are they going to do in the future? What are they going to do in the future? What are they going to do in the future? What are they going to do in the future? What are they going to do in the future? What are they going to do in the future? So Elon Musk has always been in news for his interesting tweets. I would say from tweets to now buying stakes in Twitter. And he has the largest in fact, he has more stakes than, like you said, ex-CEO Jack Dorsey and the current CEO Parag Agarwal. So that is actually very, very interesting. And this will actually uh, help Dogecoin also because Dogecoin has surged up after right. this news. Yes, Dogecoin ki baat kare to ab, uh, jo Elon Musk jo hai, wo Twitter par Dogecoin ki uh, jo hai bar bar tweets kar rahe hai. Hmm. To usko promote bhi kar rahe hai Dogecoin. Ko. Of course. Yes, that is expected out of him yes, yes. <laughs> because he knows how to tweet. Correct, correct. <laughs> Moving on, a blockchain developer Neo Protocol raised $350 million, more than double what it got just three months ago to accelerate the decentralization of Neo ecosystem. The latest funding round was led by a hedge fund, Tiger Global, is a sign of the frenzy surrounding crypto startups. Neo Protocol's market capitalization on Tuesday was more than $10 billion. The native token Neo jumped almost 20% and it's currently trading around $18. So Neo Protocol, right now we are saying, uh, has raised $350 million, but prior to this, it also raised $150 million. So in total, Neo has raised $500 million and a lot of uh, companies, big companies are interested in Neo Protocol, uh, venture capital funds, hedge funds, and even Grayscale, that is the uh, biggest asset management company that has also, uh, you know, uh, raised money for for Neo Protocol. And they have also acquired Neo Token, which is the third biggest token in their portfolio. And I think that is also because uh, Neo is, uh, it, talks are going on that Neo might launch their own stable coin. Absolutely. If you talk about Neo Token, ki baat kare, to इसमें इतना इतनी बड़ी मात्रा में जो इन्वेस्टमेंट हो रही है, तो इसको देखके ऑफ कोर्स जो जो बड़े इन्वेस्टर्स हैं, वो इसकी तरफ आकर्षित होते हुए दिखाई दे रहे हैं और जैसे ग्रेसकेल आपने जो कहा, वो ग्रेसकेल की इसकी तरफ आकर्षित होने का कुछ तो प्लान होगा कि भविष्य में नियर टोकन को और भी मतलब ऊंचाई के तरफ वो शायद और ज़्यादा स्ट्रॉंग हाँ और वो देखते रहें उनका कुछ एम कुछ बड़ा होगा इसके लिए उन्होंने इसमें इन्वेस्टमेंट किया हुआ है तो बढ़ते नेक्स्ट खबर की ओर और ये खबर अब तक हमने जो खबर देखी वो कंपनीज देखी ये कुछ स्कैम्स देखे वगैरह 
बॉलीवुड में भी कुछ धमाका हो रहा है Shrinidhi Shetty in the lead the film is one of the most awaited ones of the year while fans are eagerly waiting for KGF chapter 2 the makers are keeping the fandom going by introducing the KGF verse where the fans of Yash can explore and experience salam rocky bhai KG, KGF universe in the metaverse however even before its release KGF 2 is setting records uh, rocky bhai's new avatar from the KGF verse have now become the fastest to sell out 1000 nft tokens in india so yash is a big star in south uh, south industry but when yash uh, introduced a uh, debut in bollywood with first kgf he became a bigger star and it uh, the, because the role was larger than life kgf one yes. talking about kgf uh, rocky bhai that hmm. that character was very very larger uh, larger than life and people were looking uh, forward to kgf to to the series and now that uh, the series is about to come on 14th of april i think it's a very very good uh, step by the promotion company that they are promoting it on metaverse and they have come up with kgf avatars you know rocky bhai ka Correct. avatar everybody wants to see that absolutely uh the ye acha big move hum इसे कह सकते हैं कि बॉलीवुड इंडस्ट्री जो टेक्नोलॉजी में आ, अपना कदम रख रही है जैसे मेटावर्स में अपना कदम रख रही है मेटावर्स में कदम रखकर वो आ, अपने मूवीज़ को प्रमोट कर रहे हैं एन को प्रमोट कर रहे हैं तो भविष्य में शायद और भी बॉलीवुड की जो भी मूवीज़ होगी वो भी मेटावर्स के माध्यम से प्रमोट करने की शायद शायद वो सोचे तो क्रिप्टो वीकली रैप में फिलहाल इतना ही अगले हफ्ते फिर मिलेंगे क्रिप्टो वीकली रैप के नए एपिसोड के साथ नई खबरों के साथ मैं संदीप कसालकर एंड दिस इज रुचि शर्मा साइनिंग ऑफ डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू क्रिप्टो टीवी हैव अ ग्रेट वीकेंड